Hi guys, it's Andy here. Firstly, if you're new here, I am a South African beauty and lifestyle YouTuber and I try to post new videos every week. So, I was influenced by one of my favorite beauty influencers, Michaela. I'm going to try to have a video playing over here. She posted a video with the new Moschino Toy 2 Bubblegum Perfume and I was obsessed with the packaging, right? I wanted to get the same perfume, but it was a new perfume and it's not available in South Africa yet. So I looked for like alternatives and I found that Moschino they have a whole range of really cool perfumes and they have other toy two perfumes in a teddy bear bottle. For a bit of context, I'm not a perfume person. I have like one bottle of perfume and I kind of use that whenever. I thought, you know, maybe it would be cool if I get into a better perfume because I do like smelling nice. Um, but I have a very sensitive nose and I get migraines really easily. So I didn't want to invest in a full size bottle of perfume. <laughs> How cute is this? How cute is this? Like actually how cute is this? It's the Moschino miniature gift perfume set collection thing. I really just put all the words there. And I bought this from my perfume shop. My perfume shop is a, I think that's the name. The delivery was super fast. Um, their products are authentic. This toy too, this is the perfume that I'm really interested in. There's two bottles of it and there's three other bottles of really cool perfumes in here. Let me just show you because the packaging is insane from what I saw online. So these are sample sizes and they're small bottles. I don't mind because I really want to smell the perfume first before I buy the full size, you know? What if the packaging is so cute but it gives me a migraine, you know? then it's going to be pointless. Let's start off with the Toy 2 perfume. The box is absolutely gorgeous. Like it really feels so high quality. I'm not used to such fancy things, eh? Ooh. Oh, wow. This, so this is the Moschino Toy 2 sample size perfume. I believe this is five mils. Yeah. Um, and I feel like the, the sample sizes will last me really long because I don't use a lot of perfume. So the, the bigger bottle looks fancier and stuff, but even the little sample size bottle is super cute, which is why the sample sizes are so expensive because they come in like the whole fancy bottle and things. Anyway, let's smell this because this is the perfume that I'm thinking of buying a full size of if I like it. Just has the little stopper, right? Because it is a sample. Oh my gosh, please smell nice. Please smell nice. I'm going to cry if it doesn't smell nice. Oh, it smells nice. <gasps> it smells so nice. Oh, oh, I would get the full size. Oh, this is so me. I love smelling like candy if I could say it. So I love sweet smells. Also, I love like floral type of smells. And um, I can smell like orange in this. Let me tell you the notes because perfume has notes. Wow. I'm not a perfume person, remember that. Oh yeah, this is the back of the box with like the pictures of the little perfume. <laughs> I found a website and the top notes for this fragrance is apple, mandarin and magnolia. And then the middle notes are white currant peony and jasmine and then your base notes is musk amber wood and sandalwood so glad it's also it's not so strong that will give you a headache so if you are sensitive to smells like me i think you could also enjoy this very fresh smell next perfume that i was kind of interested in purchasing the full size one as well was the moschino fresh couture perfume um, the pink one. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! <laughs> Look at this. Do you see this? Like, also just has a little stopper. Five mils of perfume. And let's smell this because I would also consider buying a full size of this if it smells good. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. It's nice. Not too strong at all. It's just really sweet and floral. 
the best way to describe it um what exactly am i smelling let's see the notes the top notes are the pink grapefruit black currant and lily of the valley and your middle notes are rose pomegranate and pink hyacinth your base note is your musk cedar and ambroxan wow Okay, I love rose as well. I'm glad there's some rose in there. Uh, these are great young fresh perfumes, you know. Get scents for all different ages. So you get, you know, more mature scents. You have your daytime scents, the nighttime scents. This is very, I would say, young, fresh daytime scents. I'm really getting that. And look here, yeah, I'm no expert when it comes to perfumes, but these perfumes are just so clear when you smell them. Ooh, next I'm going <laughs> This is also a, a fresh couture perfume, but this is the fresh couture gold perfume. I heard some people say that, oh, they're not like a huge fan of this. To be honest, I wasn't even considering getting this one, but um, you know, maybe I'll like it because I have the little sample now. But the, the pink couture was definitely on my mind. But oh, how cute is this? And if you buy the full size, it literally looks like this, just a bigger bottle. Oh. Um, the first thing I thought when I smelled this was some sort of Indian -y scent. Um, incense type of fragrance, you know that? I can see why some people would not like the Moschino Gold Couture then. Because usually if you're... If you're not like part of the culture, you you might not find the smells that attractive. You might not be used to it. Again, it's still very fresh. I actually think my mom would really like this. I wonder if I should give this to her, actually. Your top notes is like orange, mango, pear. Your middle notes, orchid, jasmine, lily of the valley. And your base notes, there is some musk, um, sandalwood, vanilla and other things I've never heard of. I love this as well. Not too strong again. I'm glad I could actually use this. I was scared that because it's, you know, like a pricier perfume, it was going to be very concentrated and just have a very strong smell, which is why I've been scared of perfumes for a long time. But, um, oof, looks like Moschino is changing my mind. But why did I have to fall in love with such an expensive brand of perfume? And this is the Moschino Fresh Couture perfume. Um... I love these little spray bottles. I really might just go and buy these, but let's smell this. Take a lot also has the full size of this and the gold one, eh? Hmm. I mean, nice, okay. Fresh, light. To me, this smells very similar to the pink one. No, wait, it smells very similar to Toy 2, actually, because I get that um, mandarin orange smell. Let's see what's in here. Top notes of bergamot orange, and Lang Lang. Lang Lang has that very fresh smell. I've used skincare products with that. Almost lemony. And then your middle note is again that um, puny flower. I'm probably butchering the name. Raspberry. Oh, Memphis! This is Memphis! <laughs> well, now I have to get the full bottle because there's Osmanthus in here. Osmanthus wine, wine tastes, tastes the same as, as I remember. remember. But, but where are those, those who, who share, share the memory? <laughs> don't play Genshin Impact, you probably think I'm an insane person. You probably think I'm an insane person in general, by the way. Oh yeah, and then your base note is Ambroxan. Patchouli. Patchouli as well, base note. Toy 2 is is a lot more orangey. What's the difference between the pink and the blue bottle then? The pink bottle is more florally. Florally and sweet. The blue bottle is more citrusy. More orangey, lemony. And like bitter, if I would say. And then the the toy 2 perfume this one is sweet citrus right whereas this is butter citrus and then the gold one to me is musky um citrusy but musky i have no regrets at all and i think i really might go ahead and in a couple of months time when i save up a bit go ahead and purchase full sizes of these perfumes apart from just packaging you know the scent is amazing and I know it's hard when you're, you're hearing someone else just speak about the scents but I can, I can sinus approve this. If you have a sensitive nose, a sensitive um, like sinus and stuff, you shouldn't have a problem with these unless you're even more sensitive than me. But anyway, um, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun just unboxing these and smelling these. 
um, thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe if you aren't coming down below don't forget to follow my socials which will be linked down below in the description and i will see you guys in the next video bye